got back. That was a really good walk. Pretty much went up to the battery and it was honestly pretty chilly outside, which felt so good because now I'm freaking hot. Excuse me, I'm about to just stay in my sports bra for a second. Yeah, I'm about to make some coffee and breakfast. But first, I need to make my greens, which is probably the worst part of my day. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. Like, I don't know how girls do it and like actually enjoy it, because I don't. It's nasty. It's really freaking nasty. So I usually mix it with some kind of like juice like, I had fruit punch, but I think I'm just gonna mix it up now. So I'm gonna try mixing it with my greens. I just get these from Target. They're the um, Amazing Grass Greens Blend. It's very flavored. And I really don't think it's bad. I'm just such a baby. So I fill it up like probably a third of what. And then I'm just gonna do like that much. You just can go. It's so good. Okay, I don't need to drink anything because I'm not able to chug. Like if I had just drinking water, I won't be able to chug this. I have to be like thirsty. Oh my God, it just looks disgusting. Take a scoop. That is nasty right there. That should not be in my body. And then I just take like a milk frother and froth it up. All right, here goes nothing. Ready, go. I hate that. I literally gag every time I'm done. I saw somewhere you want to drink the first thing in the morning before you've had any coffee or anything to eat because coffee's really acidic and so it's harder on your digestive system, I think. So it's good to like line your gut with greens. I don't really know. That's just something I saw on someone's TikTok. But now that that's done, I do have something exciting to show. So last week I pulled trigger on something that I've been wanting for quite some time, a Breville coffee machine. Yes, it's pricey, but it's gonna be so worth it because the coffee is freaking amazing. Put the coffee beans in here, I need to put some more in. And then you make your own espresso, froth your own milk, like you do the whole nine yards that like Starbucks and coffee places do. So yeah, I got it last week. I've been using it every day and I think I finally perfected the latte that I like. Also, the reason I got it was really because my parents, they have the same one at their house and they run like a mobile bar business like on the side and they've been doing coffee every Saturday at Soda City in Columbia. If you live in Columbia, you should check them out or if you go to USC, you should go by there on Saturdays and get coffee from them. They have like a big like commercial grade espresso machine that makes like six at a time. And so they were like practicing and using this at first when they first started. The drinks that they made were so freaking good, like better than Starbucks. So yeah, I wanted one too. <laughs> Say hey. Hey vlog. Good morning. All right, breakfast is served. I always do like way too many strawberries, but they're just so good, so why not? I think I'm just going to sit on the couch for like 30 minutes because it's still, it's not even eight yet. Just do some drafting of emails. I don't like to send emails until at least like 8.39 because I hate being that girl that you can email from at 8 a.m. Like no one wants to be that person. So I usually will like draft the emails or like draft the responses and then we'll just like send them 8.39. So I think that's what I'm gonna do right now. And then I'll probably leave the house around nine today. And I should be done around three or four, come back here, catch up on emails, order things you need to order, like all that fun stuff. And then Jake actually gets in around six, I think. 
And then I think we're gonna go on a date tonight, just like a little dinner date because we haven't been on one since I visited him in Florida. And he hasn't been here at the house since the end of February, which is sad. And it's like the, pretty much the beginning of April. But yeah, I'm excited to see him. But I have a busy work day that I need to get a lot done before I'm able to like focus on having him here. So yeah, I'm about to just get some work done, eat some breakfast, and then I'll get dressed and we'll get out of here soon. Okay, I just finished breakfast, answering emails, and just like finishing planning for the day. I always plan for the day like the night before, but if there's anything like I need to add or change, take off, whatever in the morning, I usually do that. But yeah, it's almost nine now. I'm about to just like wash my face, do a little bit of makeup, and then get out the door. But I wanted to show what I do for skincare because I love watching other people's skincare. I don't do anything crazy. I use like probably four or five products in the morning and I always start with just like Cetaphil, Cetaphil, I don't know how to say it, gentle skin cleanser. This is just like tried and true. I've tried so many like name brand face washes and those just always either really dry out my skin or make me break out. So I'm gonna wash my face really quickly. Always want to pat dry. And then now I'll usually ice roll. I see a lot of girls like ice roll when they first wake up, but I like to do it when like my face is clean because I don't know, I'm just weird like that. So I'm gonna go grab that out of the freezer real quick. Okay, and then I'll just do like a few swipes. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. And then I'll usually put like more pressure when I'm going up the cheek and then like light pressure going down. Um, and then same over here. It just feels so good. So I keep all of my skincare in this skincare fridge. I literally just got this off Amazon. Like it's nothing too crazy. I think it's like $30, $35. But it just extends the shelf life of your products so it keeps them fresher and it also just feels really good going on your face. Like it's just nice and cold. I just cleansed my face, ice rolled, and then I always start with an eye cream and I just use this DEJ. I get this from the place that I get Botox at. Also, I feel like I've never really talked about but I do get preventative Botox in my 11s area and then right up here in my forehead and then also a little bit in my crow's feet i don't get a lot i get maybe 20 25 units total maybe i could be completely wrong but i know it's like only three up here and i can't remember how much she does on the outsides but yeah anyways i get this from there it's like a medical grade eye cream it's pretty pricey but it's definitely worth it because i've had this literally since august and it's April now and I use it twice a day and I still have some left. I don't know how much is left in here, but you don't need a lot. You just want to use like a pea size amount for your eyes. And then you just want to like lightly tap with your ring finger because your ring finger is the most gentle finger. And then next I use this vitamin C. I just got this recently. I don't know if I like it or not. I've been using just the Drunk Elephant. Like I've gone through like four of these small bottles and I really like the Drunk Elephant vitamin C. I like to give products like at least a month use before I make a decision about them. And so it has like this little dropper like this and I'll usually do, I don't know, like that much. I don't know if you can tell and then just rub it to my ring and middle fingers and then you just wanna like press it into your skin. And then I always rub like leftover skincare on the back of my hands because your hands do age. And then next for SPF, I just use this Tula Skincare Protect and Glow. It has 30 SPF and protects against UVA and UVB rays. I'll do a little bit on my cheeks, nose, and forehead, and then definitely the back of my hands again, because if you think about like when you're driving, you're holding onto the steering wheel, it's definitely hitting your hands. And then I will just gently rub this in with my middle finger and just kind of spread it around my face, really focusing on like right underneath my eyes right here and then up to my cheeks and then go all the way across my forehead into my hairline. And then I'll just take kind of what's left over and rub it all the way else around. Also getting your ears and then again, just like the back of my hands more. And then lastly, I just use this It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, 
moisturizer. I've gone through like five of these bottles. I've been using it for years. And I do use a good amount of moisturizer. I feel like I saw somewhere like on TikTok or Instagram, they showed you like the amounts of like each serum you should be using. And I think moisturizer was like not even a penny size. But I have like super dry skin. So your girl needs a lot of moisturizer. And I also take it to like my ears and then down to my neck. And then I'll go up through my 11s and then even my eyebrows. I know some people say it'll slow eyebrow growth, but my eyebrows get so freaking dry. I don't know what it is. And then also like around my hairline, I get pretty dry. I don't know what it is. Probably just genetics. Thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> Kidding. And then I'll take a little bit more and go like up my neck. And then of course the back of the hands. And then I always use this eyelash serum it's just from dime i got it like forever ago i have two of these and i think i got these last april and they're still both going super strong i use them twice a day and yeah so it's been a year and i still have both and then i'll just swipe this across my lash line because you don't need a lot you just need like one swipe on this side and then i'll usually do like my laneige lip mask but i have no idea where that is right now so I'm just gonna use some good old Burby's chapstick. I don't wear makeup every day to work, definitely not. I'd say honestly probably once or twice a week I'll wear makeup. So I think I'm gonna do like maybe a little bit of mascara and like concealer. But yeah, I also take vitamins every day. I don't take a lot. I keep them in this like cute little pill organizer from Amazon. All I take is, I'll show you what I take. Prenatals, no I'm not pregnant, nor do I plan on being pregnant anytime soon. <laughs> um, but my hairdresser actually put me on prenatals. She's like, it is so good for hair growth and just like a good multivitamin. Vitamin D3 just for like bone health. And then I take biotin plus keratin. I take the 10,000 micrograms and then 100 milligrams of keratin just also for hair growth so yeah just three pills nothing crazy it's so easy like just keeping them in, in this little organizer instead of having to like lug out three bottles every single morning and then for jewelry nothing crazy i just do like my everyday gold hoop earrings and then my second hole and then I did body shower right before this and put on deodorant, but I'm just gonna put on some more because why not? Can't ever hurt. And then we'll put on a little bit of perfume. And then my rings, I just wear my class ring from Clemson every day. And then obviously my wedding rings. <laughs> I need to clean them really bad. But yeah, that's it for jewelry. I don't know how I'm gonna wear my hair. I'm probably just going to do a ponytail. I love the clip trend right now, but it's definitely hard when you're driving. <laughs> like I can't like sit all the way against my seat because of my clip. So I think I'm just gonna do, should I do it down? Yeah, honestly, I think I'm just gonna wear my hair down today because I need to like chill from the ponytails. I do ponytails way too much for work and sometimes your hair just needs needs a rest from that. For makeup, I'm just gonna keep it really simple today and just do mascara. This is literally drugstore mascara and it's the best. Like you can get it from Ulta, CVS, Target, wherever and it's just Essence Lash Princess and I always do waterproof mascara because I'm notorious or getting like eye makeup, eyeliner underneath my eyes. It definitely helps a little bit with that. So first I'm gonna curl my lashes real quick. All right, I think I changed my mind. I think I am gonna do a little bit of concealer and then call it a day. I just use Tarte Shape Tape. Definitely tried and true. So we'll just do a little bit. I don't know what's going on down there. Dab that in real quick. Okay, my camera died, but I ended up just doing mascara, concealer, powder, bronzer, and then like the smallest amount of eyeshadow, like really, really fast. But that's it. Pretty chill. I feel like that's like medium makeup for me. Usually I'll do eyeliner, but I left it in my car. So this will do. It's nine now, so I'm about to just put on some shoes. It's actually storming really bad outside right now, which is so fun. 
so I'm just gonna wear like tennis shoes that I don't really care about, get my stuff together, and then hit the road. Probably not gonna bring this camera just because there's really nothing to show when I'm working. I'll probably just pick this back up once Jake is here later today or if I'm doing something interesting before that. I'm probably gonna throw, do some laundry real quick before I go, just like throw some in and then when I get back, change it out because I know when Jake gets here, he probably has so many loads of laundry that he did not do down in spring training that I'm gonna have to do, which I don't mind. Hi hey guys, it's a lot later now. It is 6.04, Jake is about 20 minutes away. So I'm like freaking out, I'm so excited to see him. Work was, work, it was long. <laughs> but I just got back home probably about an hour, an hour and a half ago. I stopped by Target to get a few things. I just put dry shampoo in my hair so I have to like let it soak up and then I need to brush it out. But I just changed and put on it's in my cute outfit. This shirt I got from Revolve a couple weeks ago. I think I showed it in a video. Um, and then just jean shorts. I think these are like from Garage or somewhere random at the mall. And then just Steve Madden shoes from last year. But I'm about to quickly straighten my hair and just like touch up my makeup. Because your girl's looking a little raggedy from work. I think we're going to walk to the battery tonight. Just because we're getting Italian at this new place called Ital Italiano, like it's spelled E-A-T-I-A-N-O. <laughs> it just opened at the Battery, I want to say like within the last couple months. And I have not been there. I'm freaking out. I'm going to pop his car right here. Let's see where he is. Oh my gosh. Look how close he is. There he is. <laughs> Look who made it! <laughs> he made it! In one piece. In one piece, finally. Now we're hungry. Have yes, to we're go about get to walk Italian. up to the battery and eat. Yeah. We gotta go and make our resi. Sure do. We got plenty of time. It's not gonna take us 15 minutes to walk in there. But I said it's good for digestion. Di digestion after meals. Walking. Is it? You know? I Isn't guess? it? I don't know. I feel like it is. I missed you whole bunch. I missed you more. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Italiano. So we're getting dinner. Mm. That's the real deal. Calamari. Fuego. Well, we completely forgot to show dinner. <laughs> I think I showed Sorry. the calamari. But did we ended you? up getting yeah, margarita pizza and fettuccine alfredo. With added chicken. Dark chicken. So good. And breadsticks. So they only do like personal the pizzas carbs. there, so we did a, a pizza and a pasta and split both dishes. It's yeah, really good. ends with the calamari yeah. and had a glass of wine. A little dance crew out here. They're killing it. All right, let's see your moves. No dance moves here. All right, we're back home now. Jake brought all of his laundry back home, like I predicted. I literally predicted that you were going to bring with him. Also, Jay got me this shirt from his agency, Palanji Group. Very comfortable. What is it? Viore? Viore. How do you spell that? V-E? Um, I don't know. Viore. Oh, it's on the back right here. V-U-O-R-I. Viore. It's very soft. But yeah, we're doing two loads of laundry right now. We have the first load line drying. Some of the stuff is mine though, so to be we fair. We have a Lululemon problem. Yeah, it's literally, this is, this is bad. Do you know what? I got Lululemon underwear in spring training. We'll never wear another pair of drawers ever again. Really? Yeah, I like Lulu underwear too for girls. But it's almost 10.30 now. So I think we're gonna finish this laundry and then honestly call it a night because I have to get up at 5.45 to get Orange Theory tomorrow. It's my first time back since Friday probably. Yeah, Friday. Because I've been sore. But anyways, we're gonna go to bed and we're gonna end off this vlog because we're gonna start a new one when we head to Mississippi. Road trip together. He's getting sick of me. He already told me he's like, we're not stopping more than once for me to pee. Because I'm notorious for stopping. Potty breaks every 30, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. <laughs>